Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Remember, this is Friday Live, and today I am open to share questions from you guys, aura, healing, or healing. The whole video, I'm always streaming healing, but you won't receive it if you don't ask that you would like to receive it. So if you would like to receive healing, like unconditional love throughout the bond from my higher self through your higher self you could do it if you have questions from your guides if there is a question about spirituality energy or from the healing workshop that we had last saturday um, i'm open for questions and i had a team that it was dimensions and tomorrow i'm going to be live to from 11 30 Pacific time and Facebook page to depends on how it go. Good morning. Please you guys let me know with an emoji or a like that the sound is good. And if you do, I will appreciate it. And I'm going to wait a little bit to have the notification that I can see your questions here. And I wanted to talk about dimensions because sometimes there are different definitions about what dimension is. Well, you guys know that I'm alive and ask questions from you guys. Give me a second. Mm -mm -mm. Dimensions for me, this is the way that I understand it. And I thank you, Nicole, I appreciate it. I did a video from supporters so if you guys are supported on Facebook and would like to watch a whole video, I think I did it Monday or Tuesday. For me, dimensions are state of consciousness. It is in a place that we move when we are, when we ascend into fifth dimension. This is the way that I understand it. I think we're going to go from groups. If you have any questions, if you would like to have an aura reading, you can type your questions. The more specific your question is, the better the answer will, will be. If you would like to receive healing during the whole video, I will stream healing only if you request it. So I would like to ask your higher self, my higher self to help me so I am a clear channel for unconditional love and pure source consciousness and whatever words, feelings, sensations are streamed through my own speaking or the language of the light can be received only if it's for the highest good of all. So we just receive what we need now. And we can also see the light that can spread and grow abundantly between all of us. So, <sighs> thank you. I received many questions from the healing workshop from last Saturday and one it was about dimension the person asked that if you do any healing technique like the one that I share or Reiki or in touch of healing you go to the seventh dimension um, if you do I don't remember the whole different healing techniques that are available asking for healing today then is going to be received conditional love. So what happens when you do healing on yourself or you do healing on others besides the technique that you do? When you do healing, I do believe that what we use to heal is the frequency of love or life force or ki or she or prana, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of like the same. Is this pure source consciousness what creator of all universe source is that is in everything including the things that are not alive they have an extended consciousness a soul fragment from me because it's mine yes like for example this one that has crystals crystals have its own consciousness my social media is going to have a soul fragment connected to me because I'm God and to you have yours. When we are in love frequency, 
it is 432 hertz this is when we normally heal but if you are doing a healing meditation and they guide you to go to 12 dimension or 7 dimension from fifth dimension that is frequency of love that is constant being emanated you can go from any other dimension like in second fifth dimension is like a jumping point like a gateway bridge portal whatever you're gonna call it to go anywhere so while you're doing healing on yourself or on all others I it's gonna be given so if you have healing intentions please said and today are going to be done while we talk and receive through the frequency of change and then at the end I think we'll do some healing energy work from all of us whoever are here if you have any other questions or would like an aura reading to healing or to any other thing the more specific the question the better the answer that will be it's going to depend on what intentions you choose when you are doing healing if you wanted to go to angels angels are above dual dimension i believe i have no idea exactly which dimension they are but they are above in this universe this system galactically we go through 13 dimension that it is when we incorporate and unify all aspects of me soul spirit men female galactic angel elemental if I'm a particle of gas or dark matter, the evil aspects of me, etc., etc., and from there, I pass into the multi universe. This is the information that he was given to me. Many other channelers have different information, which is fine because we're all in different states of consciousness, but we're all equally the same. I hope that makes sense. It's just like different ways to explain the same thing the first dimension is the zero point field someone asked that what is the zero point field is the energy chemistry where everything can be created and it is the foundation for all to be dark and light galactics angels whatever whatever zero point field it is when you feel neutral when you are maybe neutral at peace maybe stillness maybe for five seconds you're not even thinking of anything because you are doing something automatically like maybe driving and then at some point you are not thinking for the time that we are in neutrality we go back to that zero point and feel that it is the non-created state i hope that makes sense when you are in source the way i understand it thank you so much for those stars and top your questions request your healing if you want it and then i'm going to go back like in five minutes with your questions the uncreated it is the aspect of us that it isn't defined with ego soul personality spirit angel or history background akashic records is the power of source that is in one dream I had it for seconds and then I lose consciousness and I remember that I was nothing I was just like a boy like empty and then I tried to look at myself and I had no container no body I was just space but at the same time I didn't feel like I was nada like I was none I felt like I was all I don't know how to explain it yes i'll go into your aura reading in a second and then i said what will it feel like to be a planet and then i was like i will instantly knew what it will feel like to be a planet to be a dark matter in the space to be a particle of light to be a meteor and then i saw myself that i am a grain of sun in another planet and this is the most joyful feeling that I have remember that I can recall from being a consciousness because a piece of sand we would say that it doesn't have a soul right that is just like nothing but I remember that I was happy waiting for the in that planet I think I had like three suns or moons I have no idea and then were many of us all together and we were like pieces of crystal 
and we're just waiting for the sun to shine the light on us and we will all like blink and like tick, 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 tick. and then water from the ocean will come on us and bathe us and go and it was just like with like the sound of the ocean that's so calm and I was just like oh, this is so good and then I didn't feel the need to sleep or to do something or I wasn't sad or happy. It was just like completely, I don't know, not feeling at all, but not even thinking it because it felt like I had it all. And, and I don't know how much time I was there, but it felt like it was like the infinity. And then I wanted to be there. And then I was just like, the ocean comes the sun we're all blinking right it was all good and then i saw like a blue light like a bean of blue and then said do you want to born and i was just like yes because my piece of consciousness by being a piece of sun says what will feel like to born i don't know what will that be like for example i have never never have been in europe I don't know what it will feel like, so when I go there, it will be something new. For the ones of you guys that live in the UK, in England, or in Ireland, or in France, you guys know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to live in the US, to live in Canada, to live in Mexico, to live in Venezuela. I know what it feels like Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, because I have been there for little pieces of time, and then you kind of develop a certain experience that experience from your light is what develops personality ego spirit soul journeys things you didn't like things you like it and then all of that goes to the akashic records and it is organized in the matrix through dimensions that are the frequency and vibration for something to be integrated for the peace of God and then from the peace of God to the source. This is the way that I understand it. And if you want to, tomorrow I will explain a little bit more of, of dimensions. So if you want to connect with source, whatever technique that take you to that space where you don't need anything, nothing feels missing, it feels like all oh, is good and you are not trying to figure out what you should do that is what source feels like to me the more I like right because once I was crying a lot I was in a very dark night of the soul because I was seeing a lot of entities and I was freaking out I, it felt not safe I didn't know what to do I was seeing demons aliens reptilians all kinds of things angels all kinds of aliens and i was very new and i was very scared of all things so one day i was crying because i didn't know what to do and i remember that angels pulled me out of my body and then i was saying i don't want to be here take me home right and then i reached out to the heaven whatever heaven i created in my mind and then it was some doors and then some angels, but kind of like um, warriors said, you cannot cross because you will die. And I was just like, I don't care. I can handle, earth was hard. My life was hard by time. And then they were saying, but you have kids, whatever. I said like, I don't care, forgive my kids. <laughs> but at that moment, just being close to that heaven, it was just like, a sensation that I miss that so like feeling is starving and I would just like stubbornly I remember that I screamed to the angels like yes I'm gonna go with you like I don't care the mission whatever I abort everything I'm done with earth I hate it and then <laughs> I stay there for a while that felt like hours until angels were kind of like praying to me and sending live things and I was just like no I'm not gonna go fuck it no it's hard I hate it no 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 and after a while <laughs> I was able to 
see things that could be positive over the future, that life could be excited, and, and that I could give it a twist, and then I went back to my body, and I remember the next day I had like a shift in my mindset trying to, and it was when I started drawing, because I said, okay, everything I'm doing isn't working, none I'm watching in YouTube is working for me, I um, still have the entities, maybe I can communicate if I draw it and then I tell people this is what I'm seeing, what do you think it is, what do I do, it's waking me up every morning, things like that and then I learn to integrate with the guides and then from there you guys know what happened to me. So just so I can go to your questions. <laughs> You can request healing if you want to. The whole video is going to be healing only if you request it. And if you're requesting, it will be done through your own guides. And if you have questions, the more specific, the better the answer will be. And tomorrow, I will bring the questions that you guys have emailed me about the healing workshop that we had last Saturday. So I can reply whatever questions you have about healing and entities and course and things according to what I know. So if you have any questions about that, please send it to me to encoderfrequency.com. You can write a form with your question and then I will reply tomorrow. Things like more technical spirituality thing and, and, and now let me bring your guides and ask that whatever I said, it is for the highest good of all. the space safe and I'm ready let me see thank you all for being here if I miss any of your questions or healing please ask me again because sometimes Facebook do not um, show all of the comments Atelia is asking healing for Greta, then that will be done if that is for the highest good. And then Lily, thank you so much. Felt that. Appreciate it. Sandia, can I request an hour reading? Yes. Okay, I don't know if you Sadia, Sandia, Sadia, me, my third eye is open. I'm not sure if I can read correctly your name, but it's like Sadia Vela. I don't know if you do gardening or like outdoors a lot, or it is what you guys are suggesting, but I literally see you with your hands and the soil. Mm, it feels like it could serve you to ground more, and that will bring some stability. Right now, you're working the frequency of love. This is what's coming through. I hope that makes sense. But it isn't only in your heart. It's like all around you, like every relationship, the things that you do, the things that you would like to do and are in the process of making them reality. Love, it is what is going to help you to ease if anything feels hard be gentle with your emotions and, and your feelings and if you're not doing a special technique to ground then it will be assist you to allow yourself to put your feet and hands on on soil if you can and if you cannot do it physically then see yourself doing it because that is going to help you to filtrate filtrate whatever things are around you. I hope that helps. Okay, I'm feeling the, the energy. Okay, Elisa, Greta, can I request an oral reading, please? Yes. Okay, you're working through Divine Feminine right now, but that it is not your essence. Okay, your aura looks purple right now. 
or either you are healing a lot, transmitting a lot, or you are a healer for, for others, probably both. But your essence, the real essence, Elisa, it's like pearl, like green that transform itself into the higher heart ray and blend it with its own masculine that in this case feels like metallic silver and then become pearl that has different hues of rainbow on it but it isn't like the seven rainbow colors it's more like soft blue and soft pink and soft yellow so this is like how higher self will look like but your aura right now it's purple i will in the general i hope that makes sense well right now you have a little bit of orange a little bit of magenta a little bit of green a little bit of yellow blue because every feeling we have we change in color but i would say that in this life purple it's like your essence but when you ascend you're going to go like pearl pearl color like opalescent or iridescent color when you ascend to fifth dimension i hope that makes sense okay i'm gonna clear that lily rose thank you for being here i feel positive so here's some wisdom the sun is a foundation of true health and very wise it energizes us. Yes, it does. In one of the drawings that I think is going to come next week, that is, or I don't know if I already posted, but it's from an elemental. That elemental talks about the father sun and then the mother Gaia and then the moon. It's kind of like Mm, like a sibling from Gaia and then they share a story that the sun and the moon at some point they, they were in disagreement so she, they had the agreement that she will be the queen of the night and he will be the king of the day and I thought it was very awesome It's in one of the channelings that I think I posted last week or the one from next week. Tamara, can I request my aura reading? Yes. Okay, Tamara, you have many colors right now. Like yellow, like pink, like purple, like blue. And right now... You're kind of like indigo blue, purplish, but you're going to shift at some point in your spirituality and the essence is going to be blue, like turquoise when you incorporate your own divine masculine, divine feminine in balance. I know if that makes sense, but I would say that you are a blue ray, but right now maybe you're working your own divine feminine hidden ancestors a little bit like that so it's like a purple indigo color but it will shift into blue i hope that makes sense thank you for being here thank you so much for the stars i appreciate it this month and last month for every star you guys give facebook double it they put me like uh i don't know so once in a while they give some like gifts like donate thanks to me which i appreciate it so this month it is stars whatever you guys if you guys give me like 25 stars they give me another 25 stars which i appreciate it because it's like extra blessing from the universe And right now we all collectively have green and orange aura. So we are healing love, but at the same time through sacral, through divine feminine, through joy, to creation, lots of inner child. This is what we all look like. We are in a temple, like my temple, so it's a safe space, don't worry about it. Stephanie 
San Agustin. I love that name. I think that must be your last name. Can I request a healing and guidance, please? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give you my advice. Okay, you have a guy that looks like ancient called Chaman Native America, kind of like that. <laughs> okay, so your power comes through peace, this is what they are saying. They're showing me like your solar plexus. I don't know if that it is your stronger or your weaker chakra, maybe half and half. I think that power comes through all aspects of you having in that balance. I mean, relationship with you, with you, you with the spirituality, you with other people, you with your city. And I hope this makes sense, but this is, it feels like what you are working on. I'm not sure if that is secure, that if you are aware of, that power comes from all aspects of you supporting each other kind of like when you do figures with lego that each piece or when we play jenga that sometimes you take out a bar and then the whole thing fall up so all these pieces that are finding a new foundation for you it is because they all complement each other i hope that makes sense okay mari the Kobe, I don't know if I can pronounce your name. Could you please get a read? Yes. The more specific your question, the more specific your answer. Because otherwise, guys, share whatever they want. But let me see what it is for you, Mari. It's time for dreams to come through. This is what they were saying. There are powerful times to manifest those dreams from your soul that are in the process of becoming real and i think for you what they're showing me it is a cycle of 11 months that whatever things you're working out right now are going to have completion if you feel like you are in the right the sound has gone down oh i'm sorry let me go on it Mari, if you feel, let me check what I see. I hope that's better. If you feel like what's going on right now, it's hard, this is the time for you to recalibrate because whatever you feel, whether that it feels like a blessing or like a course, is going to have an 11 months cycle to complete and then you will move forward into a more simple and an easy version of you. I hope that makes sense, Mary. Please let me know. Suzanne, I will love an hour reading. Please and thank you. Yes. Well, you look green. I don't think that green is your normal color i think your normal color it's blue but right now susan you look green and you have like a beautiful white part from your heart up so whatever things you are doing you are being guided you have your guides on it and it's like angelic forms i don't know if you are into angelic i know you're into shamanic i don't know into angelic but it feels kind of like Divine Mother, so it has to do with your ancestors in the feminine lineage. It is the process that you're healing right now. It has to do with the heart and you are being assisted. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if you are devoted to Divine Mother or not, but Maybe you could get a meditation from whomever in YouTube and see if that feels right. Remember, Divine Feminine, it isn't much about doing, 
it's more about holding the space for things to be as they're meant to be, having a strong faith and hope that as unfolds, they are supporting us, but also supporting anyone else. And if I miss any of your questions, please type them again. Thank you for being here, Joe, Petar, Stephanie, Natalie, Crystal. Thais, appreciate, Mari. <laughs> I appreciate your stars, Joe. I receive them in my heart and those are equally appreciated. Thank you so much. Okay, someone had a specific questions. Okay, I found it right now. I have a specific questions that you will share with us. I have been dreaming of a better life, a partner, someone in my dreams, he seems better than me or more healed, but in my dreams, we are together. Are these dreams, spiritual desires, they are future timelines that you are visiting to align with that destiny. So in future timelines, that it's reality. So what you need to know now it is that man that represents when you said that he is like more healed than you, it is because it's reflecting where you are going. But it isn't that he is more than you because he will be your reflection, but it will be reflecting a better version of you. So while you visit in the future, you are adjusting this technology that you have right now into that matching frequency for that to be your future in this one. And what you guys want to know, it is like it's already done. And the biggest percentage you don't need to know anything it's already been created what you are doing it's what will lead you to that destination and you will know what else will be needed if it is needed but it's like when you are pregnant i don't know if you guys have been pregnant but it isn't like we said oh i'm doing a hand right now you sometimes you don't even know you are pregnant and you don't have to do anything it's just done because the system supports it and then the baby will have everything it needs. So this is how this dream about having a partner, it's already done, but you are not there yet, but you are in the process, okay? So it's a confirmation that you are in the right direction, doing the right thing, so have faith on it. <sighs> oh, that's true, good. I'm glad that you like it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Normally, I'm very accurate, even for myself. I always ask to, when I don't know what to do, I say, okay, how yourself, show the light on me, we're in this together, I'm you, please hold me, let me, show me, I'm willing to shift, but assist me. And normally, the guidance will come from some part, but for me, I do healing on myself every day, and I go to another healer at least once a month because we do have things sometimes we are bypassing for whatever reason. So I like to have the more of the time things in order if I have. And at the same time, I adore when someone gives me a massage or rake or anything. I'm a massage lover. I have massages at least twice a month if I can because that is a way for me to heal. So self-love is very important in whatever you do. I I hope that is a reminder. Lumi, right? I love what you're drawing. I'm a fan of you. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor. And I wish you the best as an artist. I hope you keep selling more drawings, helping people. I just wanted to say that. I would love to know a message about my next few months in the future. Yes. <laughs> it feels like co-creating new connections collectively. There are new doors that are open for you 
in the next nine months and you already had started that process, I think like two months ago. So by January, you shift a little bit what you do, but in a more, in a way that will feel better for you, but it feels like lots of connections with soulmates. Thank you so much, Jasper, in the physical for you. Be open for those co-creations because they're going to assist you to be in a higher but easier path than the one that you are doing right now, but you are being dedicated and things that come from you in the future are beautiful and are going to assist a lot of collectives. So I think on behalf of your guides, I'm just saying like, like, thank you, whatever you are doing. Thank you. Keep doing it. It feels like appreciated. And I feel like in my body, like gratitude, because you are extension of many. You are working with many collectives. Mm, there are some that you are already connecting with, but there are more collectives wanting to connect with you so you can be the transmitter for those messages and information for the clients that come to you. So once again, they say thank you. And I oh, felt so good. I hope you like it. Let me see. Jasper. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Hope things with Twin Flame gets better. Any messages are healing today? Yes. Worth that romantic partnership. Mm, but work, work it on first right here. It isn't about her. It isn't about shifting it from here. If you can try to be conscious, Jasper, about what you are doing and in a gentle way without judgment try to see what new things you could do in the aspect of love being that container that is going to feel more whole every day for that partner that it's so desired to come to you I don't know if it's going to be the one that you have or other one is going to come in the future. It feels like 50-50. It feels like you have the possibility to connect with someone else, but there is something, some work that you will do within to shift into that other future, whether this one shift or you meet another aspect of her that's more alike into what, you would like to experience romantically. I hope that makes sense. Mm. Connect with the love angels. I don't know which entity you pray which. That angels or idea for any love thing we have because they are soft and gentle and they never push us and they kind of know what we need. Natalie, thank you for being here. I appreciate that you're always here. <sighs> what I should work to be my highest timeline. Timelines, I need to collapse. Yes, divine feminine. It isn't that you need to collapse. They will collapse by itself when you tune into that love that is very strong within and they will just fade away. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. It's like if a tree, it's an apple tree, the tree isn't worried about, I need to drop those apples. They are very heavy. They will just drop whenever they are mature to be eaten for us. Yes? So there is nothing you need to do about those timelines. You are already doing it in the higher aspects. Just self-love within and working with love. Love is the most powerful ingredient for creation, for healing, for abundance, for everything. Mm. and it's easy whatever motivate you it doesn't have to be a romantic partner it could be love for what you do love for spirituality love for your city love for people that you like whatever inspire you to tune into that love then that it is that alignment that will let you know what next step should come and i think that it's for me too so i'm gonna get it Okay, guides, I got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
let me see if I can refresh here. Thank you, Rumi. I appreciate your words. Appreciate all of you. And you too. You are a blessing too. I really do. Remember, tomorrow, if you have questions about healing, technicalities, dimensions, things that someone told you or whatever about spirituality that I may know that I may can explain it if that possible tomorrow 11:30 a.m pacific time I'm gonna be like an hour an hour and a half and then we will if you want to we will activate our healing abilities with the hands too we're gonna do some exercise practicing what we learned last Saturday in the healing worship and if you Wearing with me, don't worry about it. You can find that video on YouTube. And I am adding some only language videos so you guys to practice how do you feel, where do you think is coming from, with frequencies of love that could assist you. You can also use mantras in the background you could also use music if the energy is high we're in the eclipse season and then we have mercury retrograde until june 2 emotions are like high so let's keep it simple be gentle with yourself but also be gentle with each other and if you guys give me a chance i'm gonna share something that happened to me yesterday that i am aware that i could have done it better Natalie, I was told my fingers in too many um, food, I think, through channel. I'm not sure about this message. Too many fingers and too many food. Well, you are a healer. I don't know if you're working of a healer, but there's too many fingers and too many food are your guys, the other aspects of you that are combined assisting each other. I hope that makes sense. At least this is what's coming true. Let me just clear the energy. I'm not having more questions right here. Do you guys Can me, want me to do light language? And before, I'm going to confess something that I did yesterday. I got very upset. And normally, I'm very careful about what I said because I know people are sensitive. And when someone speaks to me in a mean way, it hurts. So I try not to. But I was going to do a therapy for myself. So I... I I went to that place. I didn't know the address. It was not, it was late. It was like eight. I normally don't drive at night. I was circling around and I got lost like for 30 minutes and I was upset because it was a neighborhood. I normally don't go and it was dark and I couldn't see. And then normally I use GPS, but Wi-Fi was in and out. So I got upset. I got upset because I don't know it was out of my control and I'm a human being and I was calling the people and calling the people and the people wasn't answering to me neither WhatsApp so I call whoever recommend me that person and and then I didn't know what to do and then I was being upset and I was just like oh and then I, I, I sent a very mean recording saying, I don't think it's professional. You guys are not as, I, I had my appointment like 20 minutes ago and 40 minutes I'm asking for the direction and neither of you replied to me. And, <laughs> and then I said, okay, I'm going to park and knock the doors to see if people know where that direction is. And so I did that. And while I walk, I calm myself. And then one guy said, oh, it is, I know that person. It's in the other corner, it's in the orange house, whatever, whatever. And then I, I finally find the house. And then when I got there, the person was very old. She looked like an angel. And I felt so stupid because I got upset 
And then when I saw the person who was doing the healing on me the first time, I realized she looked like an angel. But because it's an old person, she didn't care about WhatsApp or phone or anything because she was in her own, like, vibe. And then it felt irresponsible and immature to me to get upset because when I got it, I understood why she was ignoring me because she was old. And I, would just, I felt like, I don't know, I felt ashamed and I wanted to go small. And then I said, so sorry, please don't read the messages that I sent to you. I'm sorry, I bad. <laughs> and then I asked for forgiveness like many times. And then that reminds me that Guys, we don't know what the other person is going through. We don't know what they're mean to us. We don't know what if we ask for something, they say, no, sorry, I can't. We're all going through a lot of things. Being gentle with yourself, it's not being upset because the other didn't fulfill your expectations because in that moment for those 10 minutes that I was upset, I got drained. And then I put my hands like that, and then I reggae myself before I could enter so I wouldn't be screaming to the person. And then whenever I saw that she was all like, I don't know, I think she has like 81 or something, I realized how stupid I was by the judgment that I did, by being upset because someone didn't read my messages, gave me direction because she's old. And she looked like an angel. And I feel like, oh, my God, I just wanted to put my head in earth. When in Spanish, I will say avestruz, but I don't know how to say that in English. Like the animal that hides their head in, in the soil. And, and with this, I would like to do a little bit of light language. Thank each of you for being here. And remember, if you have questions and you think that I can... Janet, I'm going to end with you, and then I'm going to do a little bit of light language. So that light language, you will receive whatever you need, I promise you. Be gentle with each other. We don't know what they're going through. If someone is mean, sometimes it's better to walk away than keep the fight going. Because war will have within for some things. And being merciful, being patient being compassionate with someone or something that isn't being done the way I want to, it isn't what a light worker should be doing. Light worker, it isn't because you do light language or because you see auras or stuff like that. It is because I have the patience to be merciful and compassionate and patient with all those where they are not where I want them to be. And this is in the real world is where really we prove that we're a light worker. It isn't because of talk with Pleiadians and I know what will happen. That's bullshit, forgive me the word. It's just like being fashion in the spirituality, but the spirituality, it isn't about being fashionable. It isn't about being truthful and honest and practicing that namaste will said. Namaste, it is that my spirit Salivate your spirit and that your spirit will salivate mine. And that is a beautiful thing when we really practice it. When we go to the groceries, when we have to get driver license, when you have to do your taxes. And then I, I looked to myself and I said, oh, my God, how can I coach people? And I got upset in 10 minutes. All the things I have learned, they went to the trash. But actually, because of that, the fact that it was that it's okay, you are a human Gretel, and you can allow yourself to get upset, that it's okay to learn that it wasn't necessarily to get into that degree, because when I understood the reasons of the other person, I wasn't justified to be right than the other person. Yes? Okay, Janet. Do some ancestral healing, Janet, if you can. 
Fana meditation where you can cut cords. I have one, but whatever you find, that will be the right for you. There are some things you are working out that is time for you to give them to whom created them in the first place so you can free yourself from anything that was given to you. I hope that makes sense. Joe, the ostrich puts its head in the ground. Yes, it was how I felt. And, and it isn't helpful when we feel shame or um, that they did something wrong. It doesn't help us at all. Judgment don't serve anyone, neither when I judge someone else's or when I judge myself, because right depends, depends on many things. And because I think I know something, it doesn't mean I'm more right than you because maybe you have a different story. So putting ourselves in each other shoes help us to find that neutrality where we can find the closest thing to the source. Yes, I was, I have, I'm always reading books. Mm. So I was watching a conference from Marianne Willensome that I adore that from a worship that she gave some time ago that's called Return to Love. And she was saying that she, I don't know in which year she recorded that worship that it is like 10 hours that I really adore her and from the Course of Miracles. And she was saying that she visited Eckhart Tolle. And she said that, she has visited many spiritual people, famous people that we all know that are in YouTube, many in Gaia, many in opera. I have no idea. But she said, no one has the presence that Eckhart Tolle inspired just to be next to him. It was just like already feeling heaven around. Yes. And this is what I think through light worker should have. And whatever, it, it doesn't matter if I'm a star seed, mindfulness, Buddhism, that people can feel that light, love, whatever you call it, that it is just like, I don't know whatever that people do, but it feels so good just to be around. And I think this is what Buddha had and Shiva had and Jesus had, whether you believe them, whatever they were. People, when they are tuning into love constantly, their aura becomes so huge that anything that passes by to you receive blessings from the source because we're channels for light. And working the light, it isn't about doing things. It's about being the light, right? So I'm gonna close with that. And I'm going to do a little bit of healing journey so you guys receive whatever that you need. If I couldn't answer your question, it will come to these. If you need healing, if you need guidance, whatever you need. And if you can, put your hands like that or like that, whatever way it's fine, just to bring balance, if that's okay. So I would like to invoke your higher self to speak through me, each of your guys to assist you in your own space. Creating a healing circle that will be sealed so only the highest and the highest can come through. Whoever it is the most highest and best to assist us today throughout the language of the light will be willing and open to receive whatever I need right now. Kiva te eshka se korovari ki eshte se korova va te eke ashke se korova ki ne ki eshte korosova ki eshta. Okay, so I have fairies. I welcome them. Yay! We are here. We are happy, we're joyful, we're gonna do a transmission, we're gonna assist you to ground your light and to anchor your spirit. We're many speaking through this channel with gratitude in our own spirit. 
Kite korovare bere ese koroko oshka ti iseke eshka. Please breathe. And as you do, see fairy dust that enters your space. Va ki eshda koro sere eki ashka. This fairy dust will enter into the weakest part of your aura. It will have the color you need and it will have a wavelength from a strong force field of love. Kite koro sa ki ashta ti iki ashka. As you see the light entering your space, ba sa ki de dara shoro soro ki ishka. The light will go above you and below, through you and all around, creating a strong field. Ba ki eshta sa ki rakoroko. As you see the light, or feel it, or sense it, and even if you don't feel anything, pretend you do. We are thousands of little particles of light becoming a one, colors that blend into one stream of light that create a circle all around. You can set your intentions and speak them into your heart. If you want, you can share this healing with anyone else if that it's meant to be. If you can, one hand will be on top of the other. One will give, the other will receive. If the hand you have on top is the right one, this means divine feminine is stronger and divine masculine is receiving an adjustment. If your left hand is on top, means divine masculine is supporting divine feminine until both sides Collide into one divine union within yourself. You have four elements in front of you. The fire of God. The essence of God through the element of air. The life that God leaves through the element of water. The element of soil, earth, what it is, the ground where all else can end for the spirit. The element that you need the most to feel attracted with will be in your north, that it is in front of you. You will place the next element, the one you feel drawn the most, in your east and grounded. The following element will be in your south behind you. And in your west will be the last element. Your element will grow through earth and all above you, creating a elevator of light. Ba sa ki ishta kokova ki eshka. The lower you go, the more grounded you feel like you're going down, the higher in frequency you will be. You can create the sensation that you are going down and down. Like when you are going down in an elevator or in a plane. If you don't feel it, create the sensation. When you reach your destination, you will grab from the center of Gaia, her heart, whatever you need. And you will 
take it as you imagine it and you put it into whatever part of your body that you feel it should be. Whatever desire you would like to manifest, if it's guidance, you will receive a letter that you can read. If it's someone or something, you will see it in your hands and then being placed into you. Va ki eti koro va sere ki asere ka ashka te ikira ka ashka. As you have your hands, if you can, put them on a prayer position in your heart and lower your head as if you will be praying or receiving a blessing. Vika te ki ashka sere ki ara koro kori ke ashka te ike ashka. Or your request was already given. This transmission is complete. Before you open your eyes, connect with the space all around you. Notice how grounded you are. And acknowledge the blessings that you receive. May your rest of the day be at peace. Thank you. That was good. I like it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate so much the opportunity to learn from all of you and the same time receive for myself. It's truly a blessing. Thank you for all of your stars. Remember that Facebook this month, it's having the kindness to double it, which I appreciate it. And if you don't donate, you can just put stars like an emoji and those are equally filled in my heart and I appreciate it. Just by being here, your comments, your share, they all help. And if you have questions about healing, any processes, any something that you have seen, cores, oils, whatever, that you think I might could assist you, please type them and encoderfrequency.com and, and contact. You can fill a form, you can send your question, and I will answer those questions and have a little bit healing process that we will all share together if you would like to join. Tomorrow, 11.30 Pacific, I am, and I'll recommend if, it, if each of you that if you guys haven't watched the healing workshop that I shared last Saturday, it's available, and I do some very, very lovely Ecturian pure language video of six minutes that it's divine for a quick recharge in whatever moment of the day or the night that you will adore it. For me, it felt like heaven so i'm gonna try to do it like an hour like an hour of time and 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 then share all of those videos so you guys can put light language in the background thank you for being here remember you can sign up in the calendar if you would like to assist if the time it doesn't work out for you don't worry about it it's going to be in youtube later on edited thank you so much Natalie, you can find that on YouTube. I'm sure you are subscribed or know where to find it, according frequency in YouTube. And it's called Healing Worship. It was it was done last Saturday um, as a free service. And the f- next Saturday and the following is just questions that you have, like following up. Next month, we're going to have light language workshop and then questions. And then next month in July, it's going to be channeling. And then in the Lion's Gate, uh, I have no idea, but probably we'll do some activations. And those as part of the free services on the page, you guys can subscribe in the calendar. Yes, I will. I will share it. Yes, you guys can share it. This is knowledge is what i have to give and if anyone resonates with what i know we all grow together and and i appreciate that and this is something that i felt guided to assist collective 
in the best way that I can do, that is sharing what I know. And then if you guys think it serves you, then it will be. For the ones that would like to purchase the rest of the workshop, I created a 10 or 12 videos that complement the healing workshop. You guys can purchase that in my website. It's $59.99 and includes a session with me for, for coaching. So have a beautiful rest of the day and see you guys tomorrow. Many, many blessings. Bye-bye.